Now inspired by New Zealand. You'll know our next guest from his numerous television shows, his fine restaurants, gourmet grocery stores, and best-selling cookbooks. Chef Mark McEwen recently returned from a trip to New Zealand, and he's in the AM kitchen creating dishes that reflect the natural wonders of that country and our own. Of course, welcome. Indeed. Good Thank to you. see you again. So good to be here. New Zealand. That must have been a great trip. Tell me how it came about. Well, I, I started working with Stonely Winery, and uh, I, they wanted me to come out and see the vineyard, and I wanted to, uh, who's going to say no to go <laughs> New Zealand? So off we went, that 31-hour plane ride. Oh, my. Uh, longest plane ride of my life. Oh, I bet. We, we, we had a great time, and so inspired by the island and, 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 and the winery, like going to Stonely and seeing how they actually produced the wine was, was really something else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but the food there, the food culture, really, really exciting. So we're doing a few dishes today that not necessarily reflect only what's going on in New Zealand, but it's just really robust wonderful flavors and to bring the flavors together it's amazing that you could go there be, with everything that you do that some things would be new to you that you would learn that you're still learning well it's exciting when you go to an environment uh, you know and then you, you you equate what you're doing in the city to what's what's going on yeah. there and there's so many similarities that you feel very comfortable being there so we started out with with hors d'oeuvres we did uh, our lobster spoons from one restaurant so being the holiday season right now yes. goes perfectly well with the with the stonely sauvignon blanc you have Beautiful acidity, great forward fruit, really nice tropical notes. We have the oysters. And then we talked and about... And Sauvignon goes with the oysters as well, just the same thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect okay. perfect match for that. And then we got into like a big piece of red meat, <laughs> right? And, and everybody thinks you need a, a great big wine to, to go with yeah. red meat. I prefer a Pinot Noir. So oh, the Stonely yeah. Stone Pinot Noir is, is a much better... For me, it's a much better pairing with, with this. I love a porterhouse steak. I love doing it with roasted garlic and butter and fresh herbs in the pan. You just put whole cloves in there. Charring off citrus. Well, I just smash them on the side. Okay. Really good marinade with salt and pepper. And then just do a pan roast in, in a cast iron pan like this. And this, the Stonely... The st heat. Exactly. And the Stonely Pinot Noir, perfect forward fruit on this. Great tannins. Perfect balance for it. That's great. And so, what are this? What are the other things in there? I just see some rosemary. Well, I, I like I like rosemary. I don't like to do too many herbs, so I'll do rosemary. I'll do garlic, olive oil, kosher salt, and then we char a lemon. So I'll cook my steak off really aggressively, get a good crust on it, and then when it comes out, I put the lemon juice over top. I eat the garlic cloves along with it. Because they're a lot, they're milder once you squish them and exactly, you cook them off, they become nice and soft. When and you get supple. to get to that crispy on top, is it really high heat in the beginning, or you want you want lots of heat? So, turn your fan on, okay. turn it on high. Get the pan nice and hot, and I love a cast iron pan. This is great in the winter when you don't want to go out and barbecue. So it has to make a lot of noise when it hits the pan. <laughs> so get your, get your porterhouse cut thick by your butcher. Get a good marinade on it. Get a really good char. Cook it medium rare is what I suggest you do. You have such a passion for this, and you've, you know, you've got so many um, parts of your business on the go, not the least of which are the restaurants and the cookbooks and all of the things you do. You still have that passion. It doesn't get old for you. Well, I, I think it's fun that people have this. People get very involved in what, what I do for a living, mm -hmm. in cooking, and how, how wonderful is that, that people pay that much attention to what you do. So cooking for me, I actually, as I get older, I like to stay home and cook at the cottage and, and actually just get right down so to, to bare basics. So even when you're relaxing, you're cooking. <laughs> I, I actually find it, it really relaxes me wow. to, to, to cook good meals. And, you know, my food has become simpler over the years, but it's become better, in my opinion. And I think that's really what it's all about. Now, when you, when you, look, when you look at... Good winemaking and, and, and good that's chefing. How beautiful that is. That's a beautiful Chef piece of meat. Thank you. Stone Lee Vineyards is sponsoring a contest, by the way, where you and five friends can enjoy dinner at Chef Mark McEwen's very own Georgian Bay Cottage. Well, ha can I enter that? Because we're going to have a you link sure can. <laughs> to that and today's recipe on our website. We'll be right back.